okay so now let's look at question number 15 of the pure paper which is the integration question so it has three parts so let's start with part a so part a tells us to evaluate this given integral so k is a real number and we want to find this indefinite integral so this is a rational function it's already in factored form in the denominator so you can use partial fractions to evaluate this integral so we can write this in partial fraction form so a over x b over x squared plus c over x minus k now let's find these three values so get rid of the denominator you get 1 a times x x minus k plus b times x minus k plus c times x squared now we can sub x equals 0 into the equation and we'll get 1 a term becomes 0 this term becomes 0 because of x and this term also because of x becomes 0 so we get minus bk is equal to 1 or b is equal to minus 1 over k then let's sub x equals k into the equation then 1 on the left hand side on the right hand side the first two terms become 0 because of x minus k factor so you are left with c k squared so c is equal to 1 over k squared then we can't sub any more values we have to compare coefficients of some terms so let's compare x squared coefficients compare x squared terms so in the left hand side no x squared terms so the coefficient is 0 on the right hand side you have a x squared plus c x squared so coefficient is a plus c so that means a is equal to minus c so a is equal to minus 1 over k squared right now let's write the partial fraction for 1 over x squared x minus k is equal to minus 1 over k squared x minus 1 over k x squared plus 1 over k squared x minus k okay so now let's integrate term by term and we will get the answer So let's write the constant term outside. So that will make it easy to calculate the integral. So minus 1 over k squared, 1 over x dx, minus 1 over k outside, 1 over x squared dx, plus 1 over k squared out, 1 over x minus k dx right so then 1 over x integral is what 1 over x integral is natural log of x with the absolute value sign then the second term 
it can be integrated using the power rule 1 over x squared is what 1 over x squared can be written as x minus 2 so then using the power rule you get x minus 1 over minus 1 then the last term again natural log function ln absolute value of x minus k so now let's simplify this 1 over k squared ln absolute value of x minus minus cancel and let's write it as a positive power so 1 over kx plus 1 over k squared ln x minus k plus the integration constants so that is the answer for the first part right